The reason you're here today has to do with the issue of sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have a team at home, so yeah. you're, you're involved in sports all the time. On I am, limit. I am. I mean, I have been, you know, the volunteer coach, referee, the whole thing. And um, it's interesting, Liberty Mutual Insurance did a survey recently, and they found out that over half the people surveyed felt that sportsmanship has declined in youth sports since they were Among kids. Among the parents or the kids? Bo both. Right? Both. both. Yeah, exactly, because I can't tell you how many times I've been, you know, the coach, and you've got some parent that is being escorted off the field for the way they're behaving right? at a soccer game it's and having awful. to explain to the kids and seeing the embarrassment on the face of the kid whose dad or mom it was. And it's not easy. So Liberty Mutual Insurance created this Play Positive Pledge. And you can go to this website, playpositive.com. You sign up your team from any little league or a youth sports, a school sports team. Sign up, take the pledge, get the support of your community, get people to go on, take the pledge and sign up. And the schools or the, the teams that get the most support will be given $2,500 donations. Oh, that's and, awesome. And it's great. The most important part is you're just starting a dialogue for people. There's so many examples in professional sports today of bad sportsmanship. Yeah. And it's hard enough as it is. So I think that we need to have this dialogue started and, and, and just... Remind also, ourselves why we have our kids playing. Kids, like, when you're this is why we have our kids them. playing talk youth sports. Yeah, yeah, but don't forget, the parents now were playing youth sports 15, 20 years ago, and it was already changing then. Well, it's completely changed now. Yeah. I mean, nowadays you've got these kids that are eight years old, and little Johnny's going to be the next uh, Tom Brady, and so mm -hmm. he's got his personal quarterback coach. And, you know, it, it, it's some of the behavior you see is so ridiculous. And you, you forget that you need to teach the kids. It's a respect for the rules of the game, the referees, the coaches, your competitors, your teammates. It's not always about the numbers on the scoreboard at the end of the game. And I think that people lose sight of that sometimes and get so kind of caught up in this rat race of my kids got to get that scholarship to Stanford and he's got to do this and this. Yeah. And it's, it's not what it's all about. I mean, yeah. I think back when I was a kid, I was the kid on the end of the bench. I was the smallest kid on the team. But I remember those coaches that taught me lessons to make me feel like I was, yeah, there I am, the rough, rough fourth grade <gasps> football. Oh, look out. out. <laughs> you oh, do not want to have me coming across he, the middle and get you there, right? He can hurt you. Look at that. That head-to-head -head contact, helmet-to-helmet. 59 to helmet. pounds of twisted steel right wow. there. Right? Is that, where are you here? Which I am one? dead center. <gasps> dead center, Oh, in yeah. the front right there. See that? We didn't even have uniforms. We had we played in blue jeans. Oh. That $2,500 could have gone to buy us some uniforms. No, that's so cute. Yeah, but your, yeah. your group looked like it was doing okay. We did all right. Yeah. That was my, that was our fourth-grade team. Mr. Sullivan was our coach. You know, I remember one of the that good perfectly. things about playing sports like that is it, uh, you, you learn to deal with sitting on the bench. You learn to deal with losing and yep. getting knocked down. And those are some of the lessons up. that you're going to learn through, you know, through use the rest of your life. And, mm -hmm. and there's just too many bad examples out there. Not everyone gets a trophy, as I knew you wanted to get which, to know. Which they do no, now, no, no, which no, drives no, me no, crazy. No, it drives yeah. me crazy. <laughs> you got to learn to lose. Yeah, you absolutely. I remember lose. that fourth grade, that football team picture. Jimmy Sullivan was Rookie of the Year. I wanted to be, everyone wanted to be Rookie of the Year. Right. And you remember the kid that wins. Yeah.